Now boarding. Ready again to fly, love yourself? I'm your chief steward, JC. Before we take off into another adventure, we want to make sure that you have the best experience possible. And with your help, we'll be sure that everyone will be able to sit back, relax, and enjoy their flight. You might already know about our safety information with our video, How to Have Safe Sex and Avoid HIV featuring Sebastian Castro. But with the rising turbulence of the spread of HIV, you can help even more by knowing about HIV treatment as prevention. When people think about HIV and AIDS, many people think about plummeting, crashing, and burning to the ground. But HIV isn't such a death sentence. Now, having HIV can be a manageable condition, and people living with HIV can live longer and healthier lives. What we need to do first is to know our status and get tested. Getting tested and knowing your status means the difference in saving lives. And we can save lives by leading people to HIV treatment. But how does treatment work? And what does treatment do to HIV in the body? In our bodies are certain cells called CD4 cells. These cells are a critical part of our immune system, controlling our immune responses. When HIV enters the bloodstream, it infects these CD4 cells, killing them and creating more of the virus. In time, there would be a massive amount of HIV in the body, and we would have few to no CD4 cells left. With our immune system severely weakened, our body cannot fight off even the smallest opportunistic infections. When there is a collection of these infections, and when the quantity of CD4 cells, the CD4 count, is low, this is marked as the AIDS stage of HIV infection. HIV treatment prescribes medication known as antiretroviral drugs, or ARVs. ARVs do not cure or eliminate the virus in the body, but they slow down HIV from copying itself, keeping the quantity of the virus in the body, or the viral load, low. Different types of ARVs have different effects on HIV. Treatment involves a combination of these different drugs called antiretroviral therapy. To prevent the viral load from increasing and to maintain a great healthy number of CD4 cells. ARVs are often prescribed when a person living with HIV has a low CD4 count. Treatment doctors will help decide when ARVs are needed by looking closely into a person's health. Once a person takes ARVs, they need to take them daily for life. Taking the drugs when and how they are exactly prescribed is critical for ARVs to work properly. Drug resistance, when the virus becomes resistant to medication, can happen if a person taking ARVs doesn't stick to their regimen. Treatment doctors will help a person living with HIV by discussing the advantages and disadvantages of taking ARVs. So how does HIV treatment, antiretroviral drugs or ARVs, help with the prevention? Because ARVs reduce the viral load in the body, a person going through treatment will reduce their chance of transmitting the virus to other people. When a person living with HIV takes effective antiretroviral therapy, has an undetectable viral load, and follows safer sex and drug use practices, they have a much lower, negligible chance of transmitting HIV. We hope you had a great flight with us in knowing more about HIV, ARVs, and treatment as prevention. Always remember to be safe, get tested, know your status, get treated, and stay healthy. Once again, thank you for choosing to fly, love yourself.